this animal is a nocturnal animal the skeletal structures that are found outside the body of the animal we call it as chitinous exoskeleton and you can see antenna antenna are very very important no it is able to sense the environment here you can see the thorax consists of three parts one is called prothorax mesothorax and metathorax hello everyone welcome back to session 7 of this chapter called structural organization in animals myself bishobarani from the department of biology vidyashram pre university college the temple of excellence hope you remember in the last session we study we started off with the study of a very unique animal called earthworm so in today's session so there is one more very unique animal which we are going to study and that is i think if you can guess it yes of course it is none other than the cockroach so now in this particular session let us study about a very unique animal and a very common household pest that is called cockroach and the scientific name of cockroach is called periplaneta americana they say it is a descendant of america whereas earthworm the scientific name of there are different species of earthworm and the terrestrial earthworm is called peritema posthuma so the scientific name of cockroach is called periplaneta americana who has not seen this cockroach so cockroach is one such animal where everyone are aware of it in our daily life and particularly in the kitchen we come across this animal you know why the type study of cockroach is taken because it is a cosmopolitan feeder what do you mean by cosmopolitan feeder it it feeds on almost all types of food it never leaves paper it never leaves clothes nor the food grains nor the vegetables nor the fruits so it is able to feed on almost all types of food hence it is called as a cosmopolitan feeder so it is a cosmopolitan feeder cosmopolitan feeder and you know this animal is a cursorial animal cur cursorial animal what do you mean by cursorial animal it is it runs fast it runs very fast have you ever tried catching a cockroach if so i think definitely it is very difficult for us to catch hold of this cockroach and particularly if you can see in the midnight you can come across this cockroaches because this animal is a nocturnal animal nocturnal animal why it is called as nocturnal animal because this animal is very active during night time hence it is called nocturnal diurnal animals means uh, the animals which are very active during day time for example bat bat is a nocturnal animal where you can find it to be very active during night so type study of cockroach as i said the scientific name of cockroach is periplaneta americana and this cockroach belongs to phylum arthropoda arthropoda class insecta so it belongs to what phylum it belongs to phylum arthropoda class insecta i think all of us know you have study already studied in animal kingdom phylum arthropoda is the first largest phylum of the animal kingdom and particularly class insecta is the largest class of the animal kingdom why because it is almost found in almost all habitats may it be soil air water you come across these arthropods arthropods means what jointed legged animals here you can see it is having jointed leg so jointed legged animals jointed legged animals are called as arthropods so this cockroach belongs to phylum arthropoda class insecta and it is a nocturnal animal it is a cosmopolitan feeder and it is a cursorial animal now what is nocturnal animal very active during night time what do you mean by cosmopolitan feeder it feeds on almost all types of food then what do you mean by cursorial animal very fast 
have if you try catching cockroach then i think even we'll learn to run fast so cursorial animal runs very fast so let us start with same like how we studied about the morphological features of earthworms and anatomical features of earthworm in a similar way we'll start with the morphological study of this earthworm what do you mean by morphological study the study of external features of this cockroach is called morphological features now adult cockroach that is periplaneta americana are about 34 to 53 cm long with wings that extended beyond the tip of the abdomen here you can see the wings that are extended beyond the abdomen so here you can see the fore wing and the hind wing head and you can see antenna antenna are very very important no it is able to sense the environment with the help of Uh, antenna and you know the eye of cockroach is very unique where it is called as compound eye having mosaic vision and it has around 2000 units called omatidia right so it is having a very unique eye and the head includes a very unique uh, eye and very important is the mouth parts as i said why this animal is so very uh, uh, special is because uh, you know it has a very unique mouth parts called trophy structures as i said it is a cosmopolitan feeder how is it possible for this animal to feed on all types of food because of its very uh, you know you can say because of its efficient mouth parts anyhow we'll be studying about the different mouth parts in the coming slide so here you can see the thoracic region head head thoracic and abdomen so the whole of the body is divided into what into head thorax and abdomen so the body is divided into three parts namely head thorax and abdomen so adult cockroach that is periplaneta americana are about 34 to 53 cm long with wings that extend beyond the tip of the abdomen so segmented body you know even the body here is segmented here you can see the segments right you can see the segments and the whole body is divided into head thorax and abdomen actually in the previous years we used to do the dissection of cockroach and particularly study about the digestive system and the mouth parts digestive system as i said it is a very unique animal because it is a cosmopolitan feeder and you, you must see the digestive system of cockroach but now uh, the dissection of cockroach has been banned so we are not able to show it to you all uh, by doing the dissection part what is dissection cutting open the body of an animal and exposing the parts we by retaining all the parts in intact is called as dissection so now we don't have this cockroach dissection or the frog dissection which was included for first pu syllabus in those days but now it is just a study no dissection so that is the reason why i think you may not be able to understand in detail practical point of view i think it is very very important for us so when you just see the animal then and cut open the body of the animal and study the internal parts or the internal anatomical parts then you will have the clear idea about this animal right so as we know it is a uh, animal periplaneta americana is the scientific name it belongs to phylum arthropoda class insecta having jointed leg it has jointed legs and it is a nocturnal animal cosmopolitan feeder and cursorial animal the entire body i think all of you know if you uh, if you have watched the cockroach though it is harmless but many a people are afraid of cockroach i don't know why because though it is a and you know it is a very common pest i think all of you might have watched your tv channels where the advertisement will come across where uh, what all the things we have to use to kill this cockroach because it is a household common pest i think you cannot find a house without cockroach i can say so in that case i think you might have come across a common called lakshman reka and we use that heat black heat all these are the things which we use to get uh, get rid of this uh, very common household pest but still we find them to be more dominant because they are burrowing you know they they live in crevices what do you mean by crevices small holes crevices small holes so it is very difficult for us to remove them from the small holes unknowingly there might be small small hole, crevices like maybe in the cupboard or maybe in the shelf so in that case you find this uh, cockroaches so entire body of these animals is covered over by a hard covering uh, what do you call it as chitinous external chitinous exoskeleton what do you mean by chitinous made up of a chemical substance called 
chitin and an exoskeleton what do you mean by exoskeleton the skeletal structures that are found outside the body of the animal we call it as chitinous exoskeleton and each segment has hardened plates called sclerites called as sclerites right called as sclerites so each segment has hardened plates they are called as sclerites like if you can see here each one is called as a sclerite so these are nothing but chitinous hard plates like structure so when we do the dissection uh, you know we used to remove one by one the uh, plates so it is called hard it's it's nothing but a means of protection protecting the body protection to the body and successive sclerites are joined by flexible articular membrane called orthorhodial membrane so entire body is covered here you can see the fore wing hind wing then head then you can see the antenna eye the whole of the thorax is divided into mesothorax metathorax then then you can see the spiracle abdomen then the anal sulcus so entire body is covered by external chitinous exoskeleton each segment has hardened plates called sclerites that is dorsal dorsal tergites ventral sterites then mainly for what protection to the body successive sclerites are joined by flexible articular membrane called orthorhodial membrane then moving on to the head region a very very important part of the body of the cockroach is the head region as we know as you have already seen in the previous slide you can see the head region this whole part is very very important so what are all included in the uh, head region you can see the compound eye here this you can see the compound eye then you can see the antennae then the mouth parts the unique mouth parts called trophy structures called trophy structures so all these are included in the head region so head is a very unique part so these are all called as the mouth parts these are the mouth parts these are also called as trophy structures they are also called as trophy structures right so because it is very unique that is the reason why as i said we have well dissection uh, while doing the dissection of cockroach uh, you know the students we were asked to show the students about the digestive system and about the mouth parts we need to mount the mouth parts on the micro slide so it was a wonderful experience for us as teachers and to um, show the dissected part to the children and even the children would have been the students would have been more curious to watch us dissecting the animal because you know when you come across with the live animal you are going to kill it and then do the dissection it is something a wonderful experience which the children would experience at that particular time of practicals but now because it has been banned so i think and particularly at this point of time where we are all facing the corona virus uh, uh, pandemic i think having the classes offline is something very difficult now at this point of time to at least to make you understand about the practical part of uh, your subject as you know practicals means when you come across the things uh, practically then you will have a wonderful experience and the like for example like watching a movie so after watching the movie then you will have all the things in your mind so in a similar way in practicals when you come across those plants and animals uh, you know either the stored ones or the live specimen plant specimens then you will have a wonderful experience so moving on to the head region so head is formed by the fusion of the six segments of the body with flexible neck so the neck is flexible so head is formed by fusion of six segments with flexible neck and the head bears a pair of compound eye a pair of antenna antenna is mainly to what to sense the environment sense the environment what do you mean by sensing the environment don't you feel that even if your a cockroach is there if you want to catch it it will just run away so it can sense the environment and it can sense the food items that is the reason wherever food is kept you can see the cockroach there so such is about the uh, that is such a sensory organ is antenna so antenna have sensory receptors 
help in monitoring the environment and head bears appendages meant for biting and chewing types of mouth parts as i said very unique structures are found they are called as trophy structures here you can see in this beautiful picture the mouth parts of cockroach which is very very unique now let us understand what are all the parts that are included in the mouth parts of cockroach so a labrum a pair of mandibles a pair of maxilla a labium which is otherwise called lower lip labrum is called upper lip then a median flexible lobe acting as tongue called hypopharynx so labium up that is my first one is labrum so this is labrum next comes mandibles here mandibles so mandibles are nothing but like how we have teeth for uh, biting and chewing so in a similar way this cockroach has mandibles so here you can see the mandibles and here you can see the labrum labrum is otherwise called what upper lip this is upper lip and labium is the lower lip this is the lower lip and this is hypopharynx acts as a tongue and these are mandibles and here you can see the first maxilla and second maxilla which will help to hold the food items so what are all the parts of the mouth parts of cockroach a labrum here you can see the labrum a pair of mandibles then a pair of maxilla then labium that is the the lower lip and hypopharynx so these are the very important mouth parts of cockroach very important from examination point of view as definitely they are going to ask about the mouth parts so head head is formed by the fusion of six segments with flexible neck the head bears a pair of compound eye a pair of antenna then antenna have sensory receptors which helps in monitoring the environment head bears appendages meant for biting and chewing types of mouth parts the mouth parts consists of labrum then a pair of mandibles a pair of maxilla a labium a median flexible lobe acting as tongue that is the hypopharynx then moving on to the thoracic region so here you can see the whole of the body uh, it is as i said it is divided into head thorax and abdomen so body is divided into three parts what are they head thoracic region and abdomen so we have already learnt about head region so moving on to the second very important part of the body called thorax so what is thorax here you can see the thorax consists of three parts one is called prothorax mesothorax and metathorax so prothorax mesothorax and meta thoracic region so thorax consists of three parts what are they consists of three parts called prothorax mesothorax and metathorax and each thoracic segment bears a pair of walking legs here you can see here you can see the walking legs and you know even cockroaches are also means of carrying diseases also because as you know uh, it uh, moves around with the food items uh, definitely it may also be a reason for causing diseases so you should be very careful about this nocturnal animal called cockroach as we say it is a household pest so each thoracic segment and it is having a uh, uh, leg made up uh, like having hairy like structures called bristles so that is the reason why even it is also responsible for carrying the diseases so each thoracic segment has a pair of walking legs each thoracic segment has a pair of walking legs and first pair of wings arises from the mesothorax and second pair from the metathorax so here you can see first one arises from the mesothorax and the second one from the metathorax four wings are mesothoracic wings here you can see the four wings here you can see the four wing four wings or mesothoracic wings are called tegmina are opaque dark and leathery cover the hind wings and provide protection to the body so wings also actually though wings are present for it but it is not used for flying have you ever seen cockroach flying to greater heights no it flies but to a very short distance short height but the four wings or mesothoracic wings are called tegmina or opaque dark and leathery cover which cover the hind wings and provide protection to the body the hind wings are transparent membranous meant for flying right so thoracic region as i said the whole of the body is divided into head thorax and abdomen and we also studied about head region which is very unique having antennae compound eyes i forgot to say very unique is the compound eyes is made up of units called omatidia 2000 units around 
units called omartedia omartedia which will is responsible for giving mosaic vision and as i said it is very active during night time so the night the vision that it is able to have perceived during night is because of this compound eye hence it is called as compound our eye is called simple eye right so head contains antenna which is very important for it to sense the environment then it contains the compound eye for vision and the very unique mouth parts called trophic structures which includes labrum labium mandibles maxilla and hypopharynx so moving on to the thoracic region thorax thorax consists of three parts that is prothorax mesothorax and metathorax and each thoracic segment bears a pair of walking legs and first pair of wings arises from mesothorax and second pair from metathorax four wings or mesothoracic wings are called tegmina are opaque dark and leathery cover the hind wings and provide protection to the body and the hind wings are transparent membranous meant for flying then moving on to the next region that is abdomen so here you can see the abdomen the abdomen consists of 10 segments right and in female here as i said the sexes are separate sexes are separate that is they are unisexual animals or dioecious so male cockroach is separate from female cockroach so the abdomen consists of totally 10 segments and in female the seventh segment is boat shaped so here you can see the male and the female cockroach so here the it is boat shaped and along with ninth and 10th segment it forms the brood or genital pouch and here we find that here you can see the genital pouch contains female gonopores spermatical pores and collateral glands in males the genital pouch dorsally by ninth and 10th terga and ventrally by the ninth sternum so usually we can see that the male female cockroach is broader than the male cockroach right and male bears a pair of anal styles here you can see the anal styles anal style so this is a male cockroach and this is a female cockroach so here you can see the anal style anal style is absent in case of females you don't find the anal style but anal sarci that here you can see anal sarci are common is present in both the sexes in 10th segment so abdomen the abdomen consists of 10 segments in female the seventh segment is boat shaped here you can see it is boat shaped and along with ninth and 10th segment it forms the brood or genital uh, uh, pouch we can say and genital pouch contains female gonopore spermatical pores and collateral glands and in male the genital pouch dorsally by ninth and 10th terga and ventrally by the ninth sternum so male bears a pair of anal style which is absent in females and anal sarci present in both sexes in the 10th segment hope you all have understood the very important and next very important animal for type study that is about cockroach so we have studied about the morphological features of cockroach how it is different from the other organisms so i'll be back with the anatomical features of cockroach in the coming session till then goodbye and thank you